you always been interested in food and cooking? Has that always oh, been a passion? Oh my God, my, my mom literally says that I was born with a ladle in my hand. I love that. <laughs> and, um, you know, the earliest story um, is, uh, so I have an older sister and, um, you know, my mom, she makes these incredible stuffed uh, potato flatbreads, which is just like, you know, it's uh, growing up in India, especially in a Punjabi whole, uh, ha uh, household that I did, it's it's a religion to, to have those flatbreads. I mean, that's that's our staple uh, diet. So mom tells me that apparently there was a day that, you know, she was in the kitchen making the flatbreads and I hadn't started, like I was still a baby, I hadn't started on solids. And my sister comes running into the kitchen and she's like, you know, I gave baby some of my food. And mom goes running into the room and apparently I'm in the crib with my mouth stuffed with this flatbread. <laughs> so I tell my sister, I'm like, it's all your fault. I like, you got me hooked on to food. And um, I grew up in this you know, really small town in India where there were people from all over India. Now, the very uh, amazing part about Indian food is that each and every state has a very distinct cuisine. Yeah. So, um, you know, I what we would make at home was so different from what our neighbors would be cooking. Yeah. So I would actually go to my neighbor's place, this is after having dinner or lunch at home, go over there and tell them that my mom hasn't given me anything to eat, can you give me some food? <laughs> my parents Very are clever. mortified, <laughs> you know, they're like, you did what? Uh -huh. And it was amazing because, you know, the um, um, in India, you know, anybody who's older than you, you call them uncle or aunties, and these aunties would be, you know, they would be cooking, and uh, I would literally sit right next to the stove and see them. You know, they would be uh, grinding spices on the wooden, um, uh, you know, uh, it, it's called a silbatta, which is, in, in Hindi, it's a motor and a pistol. And, um, you know, they would be using spices, which I had never seen in my household. And it was just, that's how it really started. And yeah, it, it's just a, it's a lifelong love affair and a lifelong obsession. That's incredible. Thank so you. did you enjoy the, the experience of cooking together as well as trying these new spices and flavors? I did. And I actually really, um, <laughs> my dad was quite a trooper because I would come up with these really harebrained ideas. Like, I'm like, there's cauliflower at home. Let me marinate it. The idea was amazing. But the marinade was awful, you okay. know, and, um, you know, he would come back from work for lunch and I'm like, Dad, you've got to try this. And he would eat it. And I'm like, how is it? He's like, hmm, yeah, great. And then he would go. And then I'm like, OK, I would sit and take the first bite. I'm like, this is awful. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just been uh, I think it's the entire experience of cooking and eating, yeah. which just gets so much happiness and yeah. together. I mean, that is one conversation which never gets over. There is this entire conversation of you get up in the morning, especially when the entire family is together. What do we have for breakfast? Once we figure that out, what do we have for lunch? Once we figure that out, what's for dinner? Yeah. What's for dessert? That's the constant conversation which, right. which gets the entire family together. So it's just awesome. It's true. It's a wonderful way to unite people. Exactly. And bring them together.